At a time when San Francisco is considering extending meter, uh, meter hours and days, making it more expensive to park at the meters, there are many city employees who get free or subsidized parking. CBS 5 political editor Hank Plant is here now with the exclusive story. Hank? Well, Dana, the late Herb Cain once said, in San Francisco, parking is such street sorrow. It is, unless you happen to be a city employee. Of the 77 parking spaces around San Francisco City Hall, 51 people get free parking and another 26 get parking at a reduced rate subsidized by the city. We do get free parking. I'd say supervisors don't make the most slam bang salary within the city government structure, but we do get free parking. Supervisor staff members also get free parking at a nearby garage or, as in this case, they can simply put a business card in the window that says, please call before ticket. Well, why can't the rest of us do that? It's because there are two classes of people when it comes to parking in the city, says Polk Street merchant Stephen Cornell, who owns Brownie's Hardware Store. But the people who make decisions and the people who work for the city, a lot of them get free parking. And if you look at every police station, every fire station, every school, there are, there's parking for the employees there, and it's free reserved parking. You know, they, they should get that parking, but they should be paying for it like the rest of us. So I took this to the MTA, which supervises parking and Muni, and where they're talking about extending meter hours. Some of the same people who are talking about extending meter hours are getting free or subsidized parking themselves. What do you say about that? Well, at, at the MTA, we, we have control over some parking in uh, parking garages and some on-street parking, but many different permits are issued in the city uh, by agencies other than the MTA. And, you know, we are trying to, as a coordinating agency, take a look at all of that. Meanwhile, Muni yards are full of private cars belonging to employees who work there, employees parking for free on city land. But there's more. There's a funny thing at Muni Yards like this one at Fisherman's Wharf. There are no parking meters in the blocks around the Muni Yard, even though this is a major tourist area. It sure is a nice coincidence if you happen to work here for Muni. And just in case a Muni worker is forced to park in a metered space, there are ways around paying for that too. Look who we found today using a disabled parking placard right across from the Wharf Muni Yard. You have a handicapped placard in your window, but you're a Muni driver? Yeah, I'm waiting for my aunt. Thank you. Oh, your aunt is the one who's disabled? Can you, excuse me, no comment. And we won't get an explanation since she drove off without offering one. Now, Mayor Gavin Newsom forces his staff to pay for parking, but it is a subsidized rate of $65 a month. And Dana, it's important to remember uh, that the city's official policy is supposed to be transit first. And I guess you wouldn't use public transit if you've got a free parking spot. I now guess. Would you? That's right. All right.